You're back on the Kit Lab with your boy AK. Listen, today we are on pitch because we're going to test out two boots that boast striking technologies. The first one is the Concave Halo Plus and the second is Nike Phantom Venom. Which technology works best? Head to the pitch, let's go. Let's start with the two bits of technology. We've got the Phantom Venom, which has the precision power strike zone. That's 13 ridges set at specific angles and in ascending heights to help keep the ball down if it's miss hit and to provide a bit of bite on the ball. The Concave Halo Plus on the other hand has the Accu Strike rating system. Its double rails are designed to increase the kicking sweet spot and improve accuracy by guiding the ball upon contact. The whip technique. Both technologies felt rather average. The contact on the precision power strike zone felt rather thin, but I noticed that there's a fair amount of dip. The Accu Strike rating system performs similarly with the rail on the instep creating that bit more dip in the shot. The lacing technique. Now this is where both boots came into their own. The Phantom Venom definitely feels more geared to powerful strikes as well as knuckleball techniques. But the Halo Plus felt a lot more consistent. The Accu Strike rating system surprised me so much in terms of guiding the ball as long as the contact point was clean. The volley technique. Both boots perform very well here. The Phantom Venom felt clean when striking but only when hitting the designated strike zone. Otherwise, you feel a bit of a slight stinging sensation. The concave, however, surprised me in terms of striking comfort. And again, the Accu Strike railing felt as if it held the contact point that bit more than the Phantom Venom. Either way, golazos galore. What a sesh, right? Time to give my lowdown on what I feel works and doesn't work in terms of both pieces of technology. Now let's start with the Phantom Venom and the Precision Strike Zone. Now, we talked about the ridges previously on other tech talks that we've had on the channel, but in terms of finesse, I'm not really a fan of it. I don't feel as though the ridges actually play their part despite their so-called design feature of trying to keep the ball nice and low. If anything, the, for me, the boot seems to be geared around power. So when you put your foot through the ball, especially when it came to lacing the ball and, and really striking through and punching it, you definitely felt the effect. It does, it does fly off the foot. It feels pretty nice. However, it's still quite a thin surface. So you don't get that padded feeling that you might want, especially as you go and play throughout a 90 minute match. With the Concave Halo Plus and the Accu Strike rating system, I was honestly so surprised at how it felt. I mean, first of all, the padding on the boot uh, is more than uh, the padding on the uh, Phantom Venom. But in terms of actually lacing the ball, the strike was very true. And I'm talking on many attempts, it's going in a similar spot. And it's not down to just the technique. Like I, I genuinely think that the radio system has a small part to play in that. In terms of whipping the ball, it, did, it felt dead average. I'll be honest, it felt like any other boot. Um, but definitely for striking the ball with power uh, and again punching through, it, I felt it had a, quite an impact on the strike. Um, would I, well, would I wear both of these in a match? I probably wouldn't. I mean, I'd be quite interested to see what it feels like shooting from long range in a match with both of them, but they wouldn't mean my boot of choice. But let me know what you think about both boots in the comments below. Give us a massive thumbs up and subscribe to us here on the Kit Lab. I'm AK signing out. Peace.